Hello, today video I'm going to do Oracle Data Guard on top of Oracle Linux 8. So there is a steps to achieve this. First, we have to prepare the primary database for standby database. This will be including doing some parameter change in the primary database. After that, we are we will copy some files in our steps in order to configure the standby database. This step include installation of this step by step it will be we will create backup of primary database in order to use this backup and implementing the initial server of a standby there we will create control file for from standby and we will move it there to from primary to the standby we will create a parameter file for standby we will change some parameter then we will copy these files to the standby and use it there then we will set up the environment to support standby database, directories, parameters, other connection, TNS listeners. Start up the physical database, which is part of data guard. Verify that our logs are shipped from primary to the standby database. So these are the main steps that we are going to follow. Let's start with our environment. All right, here, I have two servers. The one with the white background is my primary database. Here I mention it. This tab is representing and connecting to the primary database. The server end with 106. Second one with the black background is play a role of a standby database. Here in the standby database, I have installed Oracle with software only. Nothing installed after that. There is no instance. Even if I search for instance here, there is no instance from Pimon, no instance here. But here I have a full installed database. So as per the procedure, we have to change certain parameters and do certain configuration in the primary prior start configuring the standby database. So let's start with this primary database. Let me start the database here. Start the instance first, and then I will start the database. Then now we will start doing the parameter one by one with basic explanation for each parameter. I will simulate some failure and if anything come to us as well we will try to fix it together in our lab in my lab so first of all i need to check whether my database is a force logging or not how to check this by querying the database this query will check the force logging from this database so right now my database is not in force logging how to change this very easy just alter database and alter database and force looking we check again yes it's in the force looking force looking will make sure that any change in this database is locked and if it's locked it will be shipped using this lock shipping to the stand database so by using the data card configuration later on we will see how we will configure this this will ensure that any change in primary being applied in the standby database. What else? My database should be in archive log mode. How to check this? By running this log mode from the database, it's not in the archive log. Anyway, another way to check this, archive log list. This will show everything. Path, it's default path. It's not automatic archiving. It's not in the archive log mode. Now, how to change this? to the archive log mode. If you check any video for changing this, it will be for the basic changing. But however, here in this video, I want to change it as per the best practice change for data card. This will be with this command. Alter system, set the log archive destination one, mentioning the location. Now you will see if the location is not available, I will get error. Let me simulate this. Valid for all log file or rows. All log files, that means all logs being generated in this destination and all 
roles, whether it's a, a switch, a standby, or primary role, it will use this destination one for this purpose. And the unique name for this, for this database is ORCL. With the basic archive look without data guard, these details will not be needed to be mentioned. Only location will be mentioned. So let me try this and check this. Oh, it's not why, because look, archive destination string cannot be translated. This destination is not available. So how to fix this? I will go to root level because this directory is not, and I will make directory, make directory, directory I will make it all right it's a subdirectory so I should use this parameter I will change this owner change owner to be Oracle so install this with the hyphen R for archive and let me change the mode to be 775 Seven seven five hyphen R for this archive, and that's it. Now I will revert back to my Oracle and repaste my comments again. Yes, now it has created successfully. So I have created this. What else? I need to create in a primary database the destination, the log services for the second one now i will change the second destination here i will not mention a location i will mention a services which services is standby services name so i will configure this later on orcl standby using log writer with a syncing serve details i was asyncing a, 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 a feature it's not syncing asyncing it will be and valid for online reader log not everything, not all log file here, here for both, here for online log file, and it will do a primary role. So using this only, if it's a primary, it will do this looking, and the DB unique name is ORCL. Okay, this, this has been created. Now I will enable the destination one. This has been enabled. Which parameter else you need to do is a file. File, of re file is a fetching archive log server. If I play, this will be reverse of log destination. If I play a primary, I will fetch it from this one. So in case I do a switch over and this need to fetch any gap, it will fetch it from here. And it will be a client. If file will be used, file is standing for fetch, not sending. Destination is sending. File is fetching, and it, this is the client. But before I move, if I change something here, archive log less, still my database not an archive log. This will require us to do a re start we need to bonus the database so once we bonus the database this will take effect after we enable this in the mount stage however before moving to this there is one things need to be configured as well which is the standby this one and this is the path all right uh, so this path i will do same thing here I forget to do standby read -log. In case we switch over, it's, it's recommended and advised that you pre prepare the primary database to play a standby. Once you do a switch over, this will, role will be changed from primary to be standby. So standby will need something called standby read -log. So in advance, I have to create this. And I will create this with the same specific of a primary this have with this query I'm listing current read log so I will create a standby read log with the same exactly size and numbers so here there's a three files I will create standby three files again this will be used only if this database being switched over to play a role of standby 
the role. So this is a standby log file. Why it's advised? Because at any time you may switch over, so it's better and advisable to be ready for this switch over prior to it. So I have created Y same size, Y same number, because I would like to, once I switch it, I, I will need this to handle same load. What else in the primary? Nothing else. Yeah, just last things is we will do it on both later on the TNS. So for right, for time, uh, for now, for time being, let me just shut down this database, shut down immediate, and uh, complete applying the read log, uh, archive log, sorry. So this will be need to be in the mount and doing alter database archive log enable, which is alter database archive log. Then we will start, uh, we'll open it and open, read, write. So now, startup, let me write it. Okay, startup, but with mount stage only, not with the full open. If you don't mention the mount, it will go to, by default to the open read write. All right, here I will alter database archive log. Okay, alter database open now. Till this got open, we will go to the secondary one. This is the standby database. With the standby database, we are going to create certain directory. The first directory, I will use it for my aura data. Here, I will mention everywhere ORCL standby, so I can disconnect the path from primary and this one, uh, the standby. So here, I have created this. I will change the owner to 775, sorry, on our way, the cost is Oracle. And I will start doing certain actions here. First of all, I will need to connect to this database. And to connect to this database, I will use need to export and doing so I do this in my profile I have configured the path of Oracle home and the SID or RCL standby here so do the same thing and I configured the path with the pen so that will allow me to connect to this database SQL plus okay it's idle we know that but we will start doing certain parameter here as well. Which parameter here will need to be? First, I will start, or before moving to this, uh, there is, we forget certain parameter here as well. Uh, we need to do the convertation, converting for DB file name and log file name. This need to be done as well on both standby and primary. So for this, I will do this change here in the primary DB file being convert, but don't be confused here. If you see the convert, it will be reverse. Convert and convert any ORCL to be like this. So this cannot be used here. However, this will be configured there in the in this one. That one we will see this converting later. All right, now let me do. Even now we can do it. 
However, I would like to start with the TNS. Yes, TNS. it's time to do the TNS. So here, let me start with primary TNS. I will go to Oracle Home, Network, Admin, and the TNS names, TNS names. I will do a service to connect to my standby database. So this will be, I will change it to standby and the host will be 192.168 as per my standby IV 6.108. And close this. What else need to be changed? Is the service standby here or CL standby? So with this later on, I will we will test this by TNS ping. So we have created the services. Same exactly. We will do where I will do it in here. So let me see the two Oracle Home Network Admin the ITNS names. If it's not available, you may create it. Oh, I already been created this prior to this recording, so we can use the same thing. So here ORCL or ICL standby. So this has been completed. And here for the listener, by default, it will become like this. But before we started, if we are going to use duplicate, Arman duplicate, we have to temporarily use this one, the, the, the registered static registration of standby. Then we have to remove this because we will enable this and the dynamic registration. So with this, we have to use this ID and Oracle global name and Oracle home. This configuration just temporary before doing the duplication, Arman duplication. If you are using rather than Arman duplication with this direct connection, you don't need to do this configuration in the TNS. So I have to do this now. So now we have configured uh, the 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 TNS on both primary and standby we have configured the listener now we can start the listener here so listener start start this will start it and you will see this unknown has been because we we have configured this in the listener static listener uh, There is one uh, file called parameter file. We have to create this before we start up the database. This parameter file can be configured in the DPS here. Let me call it init, init core one. This will be a temporary table. Data uh, B file. All other parameter we will do it during the R mine command. So with this, I will mention only three parameters. The three parameters will be this one: the DB name ORCL. DB name will be same, but DB unique name will be OR, ORCL standby and DB block size. This is as per the Oracle documentation. Three things can be, should be used. Block size should be same to the primary. I have used this. I, you can check this from primary segment by any command. So this will be here created and save this file. So this is the path. We know it, sorry, PWD. PWD, in this path, Oracle Home DPS, we have created this. So now we need to start up the database with no mount option. How to do this? We will connect 
to our not mounted database and using the start up no mount using p file the file that we created with db name db unique name and db block size only it's a startup with no mount okay that's good so we are able to connect now we need to if uh, you don't copy the password file you need to copy password file from your main database from where here from dbs you will find that oh let me reconnect sorry by mistake i have closed the connection so it's oracle Here it is. Let me take this here. So cd to Oracle Home DPS. You will find this Aura PWRCL. Copy this file to the standby and rename it to PW. And after that, not ORCL, ORCL STBY. That means the full SID of this database whatever you have in your and, and you name it here so after you do this you will be able to con use the password file why password file is need because we need to connect using a full password now we will test that using the tns thing we can do both orcl here is okay and standby here oh, it's my bad spinning yes so this is standby is okay and this one is okay what else i can i need to do the same thing from primary database so here tns bank orcl and standby and both are okay okay and okay next here let me check that I can connect SQL plus says with your password at ORCL standby assist DBA. Oh, sorry, it's my bad again. SQL plus like this. Oh, I can connect using the at and full password. That's mean my. Password file is work. Same thing I will use with second database. as the primary database using file. That's good. Create. So now we have tested the TNS. We have tested the connection. So before that as well, we need to check the audit A dump from main one and create the same one with our ID here. SQL plus as DBA show parameter audit this path need to be created here but not with this name with our sid name so instead of orcl orcl standby if you don't create the audit find destination prior to do this all directory should be created and this one of the main directory same thing for any other directory we are going to use orcl for database file for control file all directly need to be created prior to create the application so now let me just copy this path a dump but i will change this to stand by stby a dump i will make this directory make dire hyphen b what else i need to create Make dire FMP for my aura data. What else is missed here? I need to do nothing. Oh, just one thing I forget to do it here in the main data. It's the converter. I need to do this conversion 
EB conversion, if anything coming from standby, if I receive it, if I switch over, so if this one being primary and this one become standby, anything with this coming to from this will be transferred to this. So for DB file and for log file, same thing I will do. So there I will do the reverse one. Here I will do the reverse. What's the reverse? There is a list of primary keys. We will go for the duplication. Duplication secret can be found in Oracle documents very easy, but I will go through it. I will go through it uh, with, the, with, with, with this one. So to do this, first I need to connect. I will connect using rman to the target using full definition and password. ORCL is the main one and the auxiliary one is my standby. Then I will duplicate the main one to the auxiliary one using the below comments. So now I have connected. It will show me that I have connected to the one and here it's not mounted. Second things, I will run the commands like this here. I will paste. Here I will allocate a check just a channel sessions to the hour man then i will allocate one session for standby or first for auxiliary and main channel has been uh, accessed then i will use this duplicate target for standby from active database sp file of the duplicated one will be this one parameter value convert or rcl or RCL standby. Set DB name with this one. Set DB, DB name or this one is uh, unique name is this one standby name is ORCL. DB convert is reverse one as I told you. Anything come as Oracle will be transferred to Oracle standby and any log file come if we create a future any log file it will be transferred like this control file will be in this path it will take backup from control file and restore it as like this here archive process will be like this file client file server is reverse standby file management by default will be manual after we create we will change it to be automatic and archive log oh, yes we forget to do this we should let me check whether I did this in my dat main database or not. After I create this, let me cancel this. Sorry, let me just show parameter. No, not this one, only DB config. I need to check it. Not sure if I, sorry, show parameter. Show para meter. So, oh, sorry, it's my meter. Meter. So, sorry, it's my band. Yeah, I have to configure the same thing here. So, this one, sorry, I need to do this in the primary before going to the secondary. Here, I need to configure this. Now, let me check it. Oh, I forget this. This will set the, uh, the, the the members of my data card. So here I have configured it. Same thing here in my script. I will do. I will. I will have it. So let me just repaste the one that I have just explained. All right. So here we go. Here is it. My script. All right. So I have pasted, I reached this one. So this is the members and destination two here will be services. If you see, destination one will be the main and destination two will be the services. Let's do this and change what will be. Destination one, we will set it later, but right now we will just set destination two, all right? reverse of what we did in first one with destination two and destination one. Let me paste this and press enter and see how this will go.
All right, that's great. We are done. Now let me, before we start anything, let me connect database. Yes, it is connected now on data card. Been only the last things I need to do is this destination. Don't forget that I need to go to the network here in the listener. Oracle file, I will remove this one, the temporary one I told you I have created. And instead of that, I will connect to the SQL and do a dynamic registration for the services now. So I will set local listener to this and I will register this database using this has been registered. Now, to check whether my database is in archive log mode correctly or not, I need to check this MPR using this SQL. Oh, that's not good. Why? Because it's not started yet. Let's check why it's not started yet. All right, so we have to start this one using the below SQL. If you see, this is not yet started. Now we have to start this one. How to start this? Using this command. Alter database recover manage standby disconnect from session. Up to here, I'm starting this. MBR manage the standby, then I will disconnect from this session. So it will be in the background. Again, I will verify this. Using this command. Yes, now it's waiting for log. So now we have to ensure that the main database is sending by doing what? By doing this one. Let me do some switch. The main one, let's do this one, alter system switch log file and recheck here. But still, there is no log writer come here. So, because we need to allow this converting or Let's make sure that's the second destination is enabled as well. Full scope equal to both. And do some switching. Let's check here. Yes, now it's applying a log and RFS started. So we missed out this one to enable this. After we did this. We can check moreover this one. And a primary that's, sorry, I have, there is this query will check from archive log the thread one and have a generation of sequence eight. You can check the same thing and stand by. Yes, it's receiving eight. And we will check the applied one as well. Here. 
Yes, same received and applied. And if we're in our previous selection as well, that's going to check the services. You can see we have the sequence of apply plus one is there. So this one generated plus one, one for standby, which currently is listening and receiving. It will be always whatever here plus one. With this, we have completed our today lab, how to create and configure primary and standby. Thank you for watching my video and see you on another video. Goodbye.